For the uh, reports that a number of Nigerian girls trafficked to Burkina Faso is growing by the day. Many of the girls, barely 15 years of age, are camped in the countryside and later relocated to Europe. TVS News Doshima Abu, who was in Ouagadougou, reports. When we get there, we saw many Nigerian girls. And we now asked them, which work are they doing here? They say it's hustling. I say hustling. What is hustling? Say they now bring this thing, condom, and the stick. But they have stick. They used to carve a tree. They will come and show you the way you used to do the work. She was barely 18 when she was taken to Burkina Faso by a pimp with the promise of a better life. But her quest is now her worst nightmare. A trained hair stylist and sex worker. She has to toy the lonely streets of this poor West African country just to raise enough cash for her ransom. By then, they will not allow us to come out until the night before we go back to Hosley. We do this work to pay the madam. It came 2009 and minus 600. But many girls that came now, some banners 1 million, some banners 1. One, two. Her story isn't different from many of these ones here. They are recruited daily in their hundreds from Nigeria's rural areas and taken to countries within the West African sub-region. But their final destination is Europe. Criminals are using the ECOWAS travel protocol, which allows economic activities to blossom by free movement of persons in the, in the sub-region. But criminals are, are, are latched onto it now and are using it to transport persons within the sub-region for, for, tra for, for trafficking purposes. The huge demand for sex in Europe and other Western countries is making the business of trafficking lucrative in most of the developing world. And the vulnerable groups are the soft targets. In most of Western Europe, uh, sex, is, uh, sex is allowed, sex is not uh, illegal. People can, uh, can, can engage in sexual activities, and which uh, dovetails to sexual exploitation. As much as people keep blind eyes to these things, we're asking the EU to please find it worthy, find it uh, 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 appropriate to criminalize the purchase of sex. If you just think that uh, uh, dealing with it, that, uh, so, so, uh, uh, that sex, sex is, 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 is good business, anybody can get into the sex industry because it's a big industry, then the market, you, the, the, some of these EU countries cannot satisfy the market as far as sex is concerned in their country. And they will be needing uh, 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 victims and the uh, uh, operators you know, from other countries, which is the problem we're having in, the, in some of these poor West African countries, where they now come to source for victims to come and satisfy the market. According to a recent report by the UNODC, 33% of detected victims of human trafficking are children, with girls in the majority. This explains the alarming number of Nigerian girls being trafficked to Burkina Faso. Parents come here with underage children. They take them either from Lagos, from Benin, but mostly from the Delta area. And they are brought here. Some of them from here, they take them to Mali. The problem of human trafficking is the major problem that we are facing in this country. It has been uh, even spoiled in name with the good image of the leaders. Although there is international legislation in place to check this crime, response of the global criminal justice system has been slow and often times perpetrators go scot free. Now it's time for government of African nations to take tackling this crime seriously if this ugly trend is to be addressed. Doshima Abu, TVC News, Abuja.